let's revisit Wolfgang and continue our German Butcher series. Last week, he broke the full beef round out of the hindquarter, and he was preparing to break it down further. Today, we take you back to the action where we learn how to break down a beef round into subprimal cuts. There's no more bones left. Now we're going to divide it up into some primal cuts. A primal cut is a significant muscle. I would say so. We were always told that with a primal cut, so this is what it is. It's not a, it's not a trimming. Each it's of a, those muscles is connected by seams of basically tissue that actually separate them. And so this way it's easy if you actually can pull it apart using the tip of the knife and it almost breaks itself down. Okay. Here we have, this is the, the top on or the inside. Uh, Again, this needs some more trimming, but right now we just break it down rough. And then we have the beef knuckle. There's all different names and names for these things, but here in, these, uh, in this region here we call it the beef knuckle. Okay, this is, there we go, another cut. This is uh, called, it used to be called, this section, used to be called the gooseneck. I don't know why, maybe of its shape. And, um, but today, when we buy it in boxed meat, it gets broken down, down more into the eye round. A lot of people are familiar with the eye round as, as a roast beef. And we want to find the, the seam here so we don't ruin the cut. Yeah, that's the iron. All this is untrimmed yet. That's not the way we would put it in the counter. We could, that's another piece that belongs to the shin. Again, that's what we use for soup meat, stew meat. And this is called the bottom round flat. Often the part of it is called the rump, and this is called the bottom round. Make it look nice. So this this has more of a finished look now before it goes in the counter. I already took the, the heavy sinew off. We don't want to sell it with the sinew. We want to get the sinew off here. When we show this, this would be the rump roast. Here we go. And he would tie it up. We've been doing it forever. Nobody ever told us the purpose. But I think the idea is, yes, if you give it, if you give it shape, it gives it more of a finished look. It doesn't flatten out as it cooks. It stays nice and firm. Make sure you tune in next week when we continue our German Butcher series with Wolfgang.